is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. Why is chat freaking out? I have no idea, because there's probably some troll, right? Probably some troll. Yeah, some troll. This is great. Will you address sex charges from 2006 in Virginia? <gasps> oh my God. Uh, sure. I, I no, have never had any charges against me in any state anywhere. Uh, especially not sex charges, because I was smart enough in my life, even when I was well known for various different things, to never do stupid shit. So there's no way there could ever be charges anywhere, because I've never been guilty of any crime. And, uh, you go fuck yourself. But thanks for the super chat. Okay. NDO 103 just showed up and dropped a $100 tip. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, yes... It is time for not only the gunner glasses, but also you guys get to vote on a hat for me to wear tonight. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, white guy 420 just to be forty-six dollars. He says, "Wear the vest, boy." So we're definitely having a celebration here tonight. Thank you guys so much for supporting my final stream ever of Lost Judgment. I really appreciate that. And uh, it's vest time, folks. It is. It's vest time. I've never run into this thing before. What is it? A money creature? Yeah, look, it's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Why'd everyone get so quiet? Everyone stop talking in stream chat. Did everyone fall asleep? We got another hour. Come on, wake up, everybody. Come on. Wake up right now. And I'll also be honest with you guys. Tonight, thank you so much to NDO and to White Boy, who tipped dramatically. Like, you guys both did huge tips. But that's why we hit the goal. If you take a look at the overall support, the support has basically dwindled for this playthrough recently a lot. Viewership. Right now, we only have 147 viewers. Right? That's, that's really, really low. So for now, effectively, this playthrough is at least on hiatus. It may actually be done. It's really going to be more dependent on how things go <clears throat> over the course of 2022. And if people eventually want me to come back to it, like someone just suggested, let's say during the summer of 2022, things are slow, and someone's like, hey, why don't you go back and do those 16 side missions you missed? All right, then I'll consider doing it. But for now, definitely, guys. I gotta finish the playthrough, all right? We got way more other things to move on to. People want new games in the rotation. We got a ton of new games coming out in just next week. We got to say adios, arrivederci, sayonara, bon voyage, goodbye, avida zen, for now, to Lost Judgment. First super chat of the day was from Happy Tart, who says, well, you, you, you will gain viewers if you would be more positive. If I would be more positive, I mean, absolutely, I agree with you that positivity breeds popularity. Hey, I just came up with a new a new slogan. Positivity breeds popularity. I agree there. Um, but I'm not an overly negative dude. At least these days. Back in the day, absolutely, I was. You know, 10, 10 12 years ago, that was one of my shticks on YouTube is to be angry, to shit on games, to, make, to say stupid things about games and developers and stuff. But I'm not doing that anymore. You know, I'm honest. When I play a game, if something's good, I'll say it is. If something's not so good, I'll also say that. But as you know, like, for example, today we're going to play Skyrim. All right? I'm going to have such a great time with you guys. I'm going to relax. We're going to have a chill time together. Yes, I'm sure there'll be some frustrations, but we're going to have, a, overall, a really good time. Specifically, Twitch terminated the agreement following its investigation of repeated instances of inappropriate conduct involving hateful slurs. That's what it's all about. Having positivity and fun with games, having a cool, chill, interactive social atmosphere on the streams. That's what it's all about. So I agree with you, but I don't know exactly what you're talking about in regards to being more positive. I just don't, I don't know what you mean. If you have a specific reference, let me know, okay? Um, WWE Champion Kevin Nash has become a member of the channel. Anything else? I guess we're good. Clapping Phil's cheeks. Oh, oh no, 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 Papa Vera! Just tip me a dollar for these. My, my name is what Elden Ring's input lag will do to you. <laughs> oh my god. How dare, there better not be, I seriously mean this now. There better not be any fucking input lag in Elden Ring. No, I really, no. How much water do I drink in a day? Uh, I basically drink like almost this whole bottle of seltzer, which is 33.8 ounces. Also, I usually drink this entire bottle of water, which I don't even know how many ounces this is. 
Plus, I do have some beverages between at dinner. I have a glass of, of cherry juice. So, you know, I hydrate myself pretty sufficiently. What? Protein-packed milk that is super chested. I love that you have sneaky drinks on the streams. February is a really important month for me to try to get DSP Gaming more prominent on YouTube again. With all these new releases, this is the potential to do it. I need you guys who are watching this video on demand to like it. I need you to leave comments. I need you to get into the rhythm of doing this because I'm getting hundreds, if not thousands of views on every video and like 10 likes. That's not going to cut it. I'm serious. Like, I need help. I need your support. So please, if you can, please like the content, okay? Chat disconnected. Great. Oh, my stream went down. Whoa. My stream is completely crapped out. Is my internet down completely? Let's find out. Internet just crapped out completely. Dude, I almost shat myself. Dude, I almost crapped. And it's all the internet in my house. It's not just the internet uh, in the office. It's actually the internet in my entire home because the internet downstairs is not working either. I know because I have my phone connected to the internet downstairs. So one of two things happened. What I will do... I'm going to go see if the adapter fell out of the wall because there's an adapter in my bedroom that's plugged into a power socket. And when that adapter gets loose, all of my internet goes out. Here's the good news. Guess what? The internet went out and it went out because the plug unplugged. I don't know what's, what it is. It's this, this stupid ass power adapter for Comcast internet in your house. You need to have an actual AC adapter that plugs into a coax cable that plugs into your, a socket. And this powers the internet in your fucking house. If you don't have this adapter, your internet goes off. So it got loose and popped out of the socket, and all my internet went off in the whole house. I don't know, I'm just using the bow gun, fuck this. Not working. <laughs> Nothing's working against him, great. What? I don't know what to do, I died. I have no idea, nothing worked. I threw all grenades, nothing. I hit him with uh, bows, nothing. Okay. Very nice. So he's a puzzle boss, basically. Amazing. <sighs> I love puzzle bosses. You guys know they're my favorite kind of bosses in video games. When you can't hurt the enemy normally for no fucking explicable reason. Just, you know. I, I don't know what to do. What a great fight. It's terrible. It's seriously bad. Am I enjoying the game? Yes, I am. But I am not the Hitler of gaming. What a stupid question. Alright, enough of this idiot. I did it. I, I did it. Doesn't work. Yeah, it's stupid. The camera flips you over. Yeah, see? The camera actually screws you over. You can't ever shoot him. If you're having a good time, please like the stream. We're currently at 74 likes. My goal is to get 100 likes on every stream this year, all right? So if you're really enjoying the finale, please give it a like. Let's get 100. We have over 250 people on the stream. We could definitely hit 100 likes here tonight. Now, in addition, thank you so much to those who have re-upped their memberships or become a new channel member tonight. Thank you to Dre Dre for the cheers and a few other cheers that have come in. Thank you to Carlton Jr. for the $4.20 tip. But guys, we're an hour into the stream. We've only gotten two tips. We're at $5. <laughs> All right. This is the finale of Resident Evil 4. The end of it. Please support the stream. Okay. If you've liked this playthrough all along, you guys were very supportive of this playthrough along the way. You wanted me to do the post-game content, which is why I'm doing it. I easily could have ended this playthrough weeks ago. But you guys asked me over and over during the playthrough to do this content. So please support it. Please, if you can, please tip me tonight. It would be great if you could. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. Mm. Mm. Hilarious. Bill Barnell says this is a guilt trip. It's not a fucking guilt trip, you fucking idiot. This is a business that's also my hobby. Yes, I enjoy playing games, but we very much could have been playing something else tonight. I'm doing this because people asked me to do it, which hence you would think people would support it. It's not a fucking guilt trip. It's me being real with my audience, which you don't understand because you're a bitch. Yep, I'm toxic. 
How do you tip what's the best way to pizza bagel? Type exclamation point tip into the stream chat. A link will pop up. Log in and you can send a tip via PayPal. That's what we're going for tonight with the tips goals and everything. I would appreciate it if people do like the stream tonight, if they would contribute via tipping. That would help a ton. These tips have been incredibly slow tonight. Thank you. There's someone throwing dynamite. Wow, that was totally fair. He literally did a perfect dynamite toss on top of my head and there was no way to avoid it. That's just epic gameplay right there. What am I- Dude, are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? They literally just chuck endless dynamite. You can't ever get out of the way. Wow. Oh, fuck, you know what? Fuck this. Now, now I'm not even gonna fuck around. Watch this. They won't let me, they won't let me hit him. Even though I'm aiming straight at the head, they're just, oh, you hit the wall. You went slightly left. It's bullshit. Yeah, it fucking sucks. They're really dumb. Well, I'll probably play for a few more minutes, but I don't think I'm going to beat this, guys. I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty fucking bored right now. There's a difference between if there's a story-based thing, this is just a waste of time. It's just like, oh, we want an extra gameplay. But they didn't really think out the gameplay. It's fucking boring as hell. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Resident Evil 4. Sorry, I'm just, I'm bored to tears. I'm not going to waste time on this. Seriously, I'm not. I'm just, it's not entertaining at all. He rage quit! He rage quit! Oh my god, he rage quit! Are you fucking serious? The difference is that Separate Ways is good. Separate Ways is the alternate plot line. You get to see what Ada's up to. It adds to everything. This is a complete just waste of fucking time. I don't want to do it. So guys, thank you. <clears throat> I hope that you guys enjoyed the Resident Evil 4 playthrough of 2022. For now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Resident Evil 4, the second run, is done. And I really like the game. Thanks a lot, everyone. Until later. Peace out. All right, and I'm just going to preface this, guys. It sure would be great if you could contribute tonight, considering you guys see how uh, you guys see how slow it was tonight. I don't know why. People were, you know, excited for Resident Evil to see it end. And same thing happened last time, by the way. Last week when I played Resident Evil, it was the same exact thing. So I'm glad to see it finally be concluded. It's obvious you guys are tired of it, right? So again, if you guys could want to help out tonight, please tip. Or I'll be here for at least a half an hour of Q&A with you guys. If you could tip, please do, and thank you. All right, let's go. Uh, Monica Levi says, if I were to give up live streaming tomorrow, could do any other profession, what would I see myself doing? I have no idea, because I don't, uh, the thing is, that's not realistic. I don't, my mind is a very logical mind, all right? I only real start, li real, I only really start to think about stuff when it becomes a reality. Like, for example, uh, one thing that I think would be realistic, I would like to open up a business, like a restaurant or something like that, but it's not realistic. I don't have money for it, you know? If, tomorrow, if I stop streaming, I would not be able to get a job. So it would be the end of my life, essentially, you know? Uh, I would have to slowly ease myself into real-life work. I don't have these fantasy situations that I say, you know, there's no way that I could just stop streaming now, immediately go out there and just get a job. It's not going to happen. That's not reality. What? Guys, it would be great if I could get some support tonight for a finale stream of Resident Evil 4. Man, kind of disappointing, but nothing I can do about it, right? There's tons of attendance. We have over 300 people on the stream. One thing that I absolutely hate right now You'll be on Twitter, and you see one of these people who's a popular streamer or content creator, blue check mark next to their name. Oh, here's a, a fucking promotional tweet. Ad, ad, ad. What the fuck? So you don't care. You don't care about what you put out there. You're just doing it for money, right? I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love this, man. I really wouldn't. I would fucking do something else. I would. I'm not going to do something just for a paycheck. I've been there, done that in my life, and I hated it. Every time I ever had a job that I only did just for money, I fucking detested it, you know? That's why I tough it out, and I, I want to stick with doing what I'm doing, because I feel there's meaning, and I feel that we have a great time together, and there's a reason to keep doing this, right? Because I actually genuinely love this. Um, And those are the people who are going to be the most, the most meaningful to you, you know? They're not, oh, this is my job, so I need to fucking pay my bills by taking 400 sponsorships. And then you find out they're rich, they have a fucking crazy-ass house and car, they fucking go on paid trips everywhere. And by the way, they go on paid trips that are paid for. They don't even pay for them. <laughs> they're like sitting on a million dollars, you know. Whatever. Wow, those are real genuine fucking content creators. Yeah, those are the people you should definitely support. I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people and of people who are successful and whatever? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion for those who have more than you. You're always going to have that natural kind of jealousy of those who maybe have, uh, you know, been more successful or things like that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Happy Tart says, oh, you lost your passion years ago, respectfully. So because you say respectfully and you say an incorrect statement, I'm supposed to just be like, oh, that's fine. No, I, lo I lost my passion for doing on-demand offline videos 
around the year of 2014 to 2015, when I moved across the country, I was hoping there was going to be like a reinvigoration, that I was going to be able to do a variety of content, that maybe I was going to do a news show in front of a green screen, while also I was doing my, con my content. It just never materialized. Okay? Then in 2016, I tried to reinvent myself with KO Gaming. It worked, and then YouTube screwed me. So all that stuff, I just lost my love for what I was doing. I did. I personally, right now, would never want to go back to being a full-time offline YouTuber. I hate, I hate that. It's boring now to me. I want to interact with you guys all the time and have this fun conversation all the time. This is what I love. Give me your money. Give me money, money. So, yeah, I lost my passion, but man, did I either get it back or get a new passion, whatever you want to call it. When I started becoming an interactive streamer, now things are so different. So different for me. I love this, man. I do. Every day, I love being here. I love being here, chilling with you guys, enjoying games, having fun. This is what it's all about. See, Leo Kira says, I wish you would give examples when you talk about people because you say people that are shilling actually, he said, a lot of people I watch that shill use and enjoy the thing. That's different. That's not shilling. Do you understand the difference? See, some people don't understand because again, they think it's black and white. When I tell you guys, I don't like people who shill. All right. Do you even know what shilling means? Shilling means selling something because you want to make a buck. If you are promoting something because you like the product, that's not shilling, right? Like right now, if I was asked by Hori to advertise this headset, that I've now been using for three months, has dramatically improved my gameplay sessions, I never have to worry about ear infections ever again, I would do it because I would say, dude, your product is amazing. This thing is excellent. This thing is outstanding. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love this product. I would promote it. Here's the difference. Shilling is when you're just advertising something to make a buck doing it. But the thing is, people seem to think, if the moment that someone's advertising something, it's bad. That's not true. Absolutely not. There's a difference between a paid advertisement or a truthful testimonial. You see the difference? Um... I don't think a lot of people get that, though. And that's the problem, too, is I'll be honest. With advertisement, it's hard to tell. A lot of the times, it's a, a fake testimonial, right? You get paid to say good things. Now, is that truthful or not? How would you even know, right? So anyway, no, all advertisement is not bad. If someone actually backs a product and feels positively about it, then they should have the right to maybe do a paid advertisement for it and, and be truthful about it. But the problem is, nine times out of ten, what you're seeing with these content creators is just for this. It has nothing to do with them actually liking the product or nothing. They're taking the paycheck, you know? There's still this back here, and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's <laughs> WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>